Well, the first question that comes into your mind is what are enzymes? In 1878, a German physiologist, Wilhelm Kuhne, he described the term as globular proteins, which actually form long chains of amino acids to form a three-dimensional molecule. As you can see on your left side, there is a globular protein structure, which is twisted upon one another, and they are very long chains of amino acids, as amino acids are the building blocks. And on the right side, you can see a structure in which there is a substrate, an active site, and an enzyme. So substrate are actually the molecules at which the enzyme will work. An active site is the point where the reaction will take place. When talking about the characteristic of enzymes, we have I, we have already an, uh, info about the amino acid structure that is found in the enzymes. These are the building blocks of protein and enzymes are made up of proteins. So this clearly shows that every enzyme is actually a structure of amino acid. They are very specific for their shape, which means they can only work with very certain specific substrates. So as you can see in the figure, it's quite clearly visible that the attachment of an active site is actually dependent on the enzyme and the substrate. Now there are types of enzymes on the basis of their working procedure. We have extracellular enzymes. As you can see in the figure, there's a mitochondria. And the mitochondria is working inside the cytoplasm, which means outside of the cell. And then we're talking about intercellular enzymes in which it is working inside the stomach, just like an enzyme, pepsin, which helps in digestion. Now let's talk about the types of cofactors and what are cofactors. Cofactors actually are the non-protein parts of the enzymes. They are of two types, inorganic or organic. Organic are based on metal ions, whereas organic are vitamin derivative like a flavin or heme. Now, organic are further also subdivided into two main types on the basis of their attachment. Those which are tightly bounded are called as prosthetic groups, and those which are loosely attached, they are called as coenzymes, as the examples are given along. Let's talk about the use of enzymes. Enzymes are useful in the food industry because they help to break down the starches into simple sugars and they help in making bread and buns. Similarly in paper industry where they lower the viscosity helps to aid in making the paper. They are also very helpful in the brewing industry because they will help to break those components by the process of fermentation and an alcohol is easily produced. And then there are the biological detergents where they're used like proteases enzymes and amylases enzymes are helpful for removing the stains from the clothes as well as from the dishes.